effects uh, to create a realistic city. Once you import your uh, 3D building models from either Google Earth or Google Maps, the next thing is we can apply uh, the water effect one and another is you can create a mist effect throughout the city and create some kind of realistic illusion. So uh, first we'll do the water effect. So for that uh, I'll create a new collection and I'll turn on the keys. Okay. So first uh, we'll add a plane. Can go to the top view and I will scale this along the Y I will also scale this along the X Okay, now uh, the original water is above the plane, so I want the plane above, above it, so I'll move it along the Z. Okay, now it's perfect, but some of the plane has, uh, is over the ground surface, so I don't want that to happen, so I'll bring the border to this line. So for that, I will go to edit mode and I'll add subdivision. Okay, uh, so I'll go through the vertices and Try to bring them on the border to meet the starting point of the water surface. Now we can go to object mode, now it's ok. Alright, another thing, uh, I wanna add camera so that we can export our final render. Okay, so I can uh, partition this into two working spaces. I'll split the screen like this. And I'll keep this one in the render mode. So, uh, First, I'll add an HDRI environment texture and okay. So, first, I'll adjust the camera view.
All right, I think uh, this looks fine. So we can use this for the render, but uh, the background uh, has some kind of tree, so uh, just to avoid that, I will rotate the whole model to the right. So I just want just the skies to be the background to the city. Alright, this, uh, this looks fine. So we can apply uh, materials for the water body, for instance. I'll add a new material. Something that resembles uh, water. Okay. Now already it's looking more like uh, water, uh, water color. We have still uh, some adjustments to make. So let me add also a light source. So I'll make the strings three. Yeah, I think I think that's okay. All right. So now uh, let's select the water and we can go to shader editor and we can apply some adjustments to this. So for this we can add the other tools. The first is the texture coordinates. Another one, it's mapping. And noise texture also. Finally, we need bump. So the from the noise texture we take object into the vector, then the type should be changed in texture. And the vector goes into the vector and the, this factor goes into the height and the normal value goes to the normal of the principal base DF. Okay, I'll uh, I'll go to the render and change it into the cycles view. Okay, I'll reduce the sizes. You can make this, uh, can increase the resolution if you want.
all right now the looks the um, the bumps looks too big so i'll reduce the scale here i'll make this 400 now it's much better if you look closely the look this looks more like a water body maybe i'll uh, change the scale on the y make this 1.5 yeah okay i think that's uh, fine for now maybe uh, okay roughness value let's bring this down to zero okay now we start to see the reflection of the buildings also the transmission we can make this one okay now it looks more uh, like a water body now with the reflection and everything Yeah, so let's go back to the 3D viewport. Okay, we are done with the water effect. Now it's time to add the. It's time to create the mist effect on the city. So for that, I'll add a cube. I'll scale this okay. so I'll scale it along the Similarly, I will scale it along the Y. It's all black now, but uh, don't worry, we'll uh, fix this. So while use the QV selected, let's go to the shader editor and let's add the new material. So at this stage we don't need the principal base div so we can delete this. So we can add principal volume for this. So the volume goes into this volume and now the density can I will reduce this to 0 0.01 now you can see some kind of mist created uh, on on the visuals you can change the color if you want maybe I'll make it more more white okay. I want to increase this a little bit all right so it's kind of uh, some morning thing, morning view, like uh, maybe winter morning, something like that. And uh, yeah, that's what that's the look that I'm trying to create. But you can experiment with the density value and create your own stuff.
Okay. Let's render this out and check what the uh, output looks like. Okay, so this is the final render. So uh, we have created the realistic water effect and we have created some kind of uh, mist view uh, and uh, that gave it some uh, realistic look for the downtown area. So yeah, I guess uh, that's it. So this way you can create uh, you can make your models more realistic and create realistic cities like this so that's all for now if you liked the tutorial please uh, make sure to like and subscribe the channel and uh, thank you for watching and i'll see you next time with another blender tutorial